Robin, we're hitting 88 miles per hour. Going to a different time. Here we go. Hold on. Whoa! Whoa! Go on, Robin. Here we go. Time train. Get the brakes! Have a pilot, Robin. Autopilot. Autopilot. Yeah, gotta keep going here. Good. Okay. Whew. Yep. Uh, press that button. Got the... Yep. Yeah, I have another story here. So it looks like uh, we're going to get into the time zone of Bible times when King David was around, Robin. We're going to go start... Stay away from King Second Kings and go to... Um, Chronicles. First Chronicles, Robin. King David. We finished, um, David wrote the Psalms, right, Robin? Right? A lot of the Psalms. A lot of uh, David's life, feelings were in the Psalms, right? But his life story was in also in First Chronicles, not just First and Second Samuel, Robin, right? Okay. So we're going to go to Psalm 130 in song and talk about uh, more of David's feelings. Now, uh, he expressed, um, how to, how to deal with feelings eh? and put his trust in God. So that's how we're going to start this story. Uh, the story you see above is a story that's very intense. Um, we're going to go through the, the feelings that David is feeling, okay? Pertaining to the first chronicle story you see above. Here we go. So the song is Psalm 130, verses uh, 3 and 4. Forgiveness. Psalm 130, verses 3 and 4. Take your hand off the train, Robin. We're okay. We're in autopilot. We're going to dance this song. Turn your chair, chair around, Robin. Swivel it around. Training in righteousness, right, Robin? The Bible. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Meditate on the word. Iniquity, mark, sin. A lot of sin, Robin. A lot of sin. Yeah. This is so much sin to deal with. Forgiveness, Robin. Grace. Mercy. I'm not going to hurt you. Grace. Okay. Mercy. Forgiveness. Right? I'm not going to hurt you. You may be feared. Reverence for God that he's around, Robin. Cool. There you go. It's pretty intense. So it says, Robin, if Lord, you cut the record of sins, Lord, we can stand. But with there, with God, there is forgiveness so that we can, with reverence, serve God. Okay. Remember that. So we're going to jump to the story, Robin, in First Chronicles 21. Okay. David counts the fighting men. So, Robin, we know that David, all his victories... Come from who? God. 
you know, it's not David alone, his strength and his know-how and his passion all comes from God, okay? So verse 1, Robin, can you read what it says? What does it say? Just read it, Robin. Robin, Robin, read it. Satan rose up, up against Israel, Israel and incited David, David to take a, a census. census of Israel. Israel. Hold on, stop there. So Satan is bad, eh? That's right. An evil spirit, Satan, came to, to mm -hmm. tempt David, okay? Not David himself. Okay, hold on a sec. Um, so what did David say to Joab, Robin? Joab's, hold on, Joab is David's commander in army. Okay, what did he say? So go, go and count the Israelites, Israelites, Israelites from Beersheba, Beersheba to, Dan. to Dan. Then report, report back, back to me so that I may know, know how many they, they there are. are. Okay, so there you go, Robin, up there. You see that? Yep. Up there in the picture? That's Joab, the commander in David's army. Looking over the land to count it, okay? Count the men. It says, Joab replied. Okay, what did Joab say to David, though? What did he say? May, May the Lord, Lord multiply, the multiply, troops, multiply, troops, troops, troops yet, yeah. a hundred times over. Oh, yeah. My, my Lord, the king, king, are they, they not are all my Lord's Lord subjects? Go on, Lord's subjects, right? Not David's subjects, right? right? right. Okay. What did it say there, Robin? Why, Why does my Lord want, want to do this? this? Why I should we on, on Israel? Israel. Israel. Okay, so Joab knows, hold on, Robin. Joab knows the Lord doesn't want to count the men. Okay, the Lord told him to count the men. You tell them, right? And Joab knows the Lord doesn't want to count the men. It's like saying, look how powerful I am. I got all these men. Well, you have to know how many men you have. God will take care of you. Same God that split the ocean, right, Robin? And mm -hmm. delivered, see. yeah, and then delivered uh, uh, David many times, eh? From getting killed. Yeah, that's right. Took the water shaft to the next city, and he always could contact God to help, right? And got the life in one shot, with a slingshot. Mm -hmm. God would allow that to happen, right? Okay, so, so that it doesn't matter. So David wanted Joab to count the men, so he went to count them. How many men did he count, Robin? One million, one million, one hundred thousand men can handle a sword, sword including four hundred and seventy thousand in Judah. Judah. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot, Robin. Yeah, eh? it is. Okay. So there you go. There's the people there, Robin. David's men. It's a lot of men. Okay. Uh. So then David realized he shouldn't have counted the men. Okay. So all of a sudden, the angel. Okay, hold on a sec. God is David's friend. He could talk to God. The mm -hmm. da David's um, priest was Gad, Robin. So David couldn't talk to God directly. He had to speak through Gad. Gad is a priest. Okay, he spoke for God. Remember that. So David honored God by talking to the priest. Okay. okay. Saul didn't do that. Saul made his own altar. David honored God's system and listened to the priests. So then the priest told him what God didn't like and count the men. You either have two choices of punishment, three years of famine, three months of being swept away by the enemies, or three days of the sword of the Lord, or days of plague, okay? With the angel Lord ravaging every part of Israel. So David said to God, Gad, to talk to God, what do you say? I'm in deep distress. Let me fall into the hands of the Lord, for his mercy is very great. But do not let me, what, fall into human hands. Yes, yeah, so David doesn't want to be taken away by the enemy. So the Lord sent a plague on Israel. 70,000 robin men fell dead. And God sent an angel to destroy Jerusalem. But as the angel was doing so, what did the Lord say? The Lord, when the Lord saw, saw it and saw relented. And relented. Concerning, Concerning the, the disaster, disaster said, said to the angel who was destroying, destroying the people, the people enough, enough, withdraw your, your hand. hand. The angel of the Lord was, was then standing, standing at the threshing the floor, Arana the, the Jebusite. The threshing floor is wheat, Robin. We're going to part two and between the end of the story. I mean, I'll give you Batman Flash. I'm Flash Ranger Robin. It's pretty intense, hey, Robin? The angel with a sword. Whoa. <laughs> All right, the word of God trains you in right living. Okay, cool.